Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. In this video, we're going to be considering resistors connected in series. So this is an introduction to this subject. What we're going to be using is our Locktronics board with its clipping resistors that we're going to connect up in series. We're going to use our multimeter, so we'll get that set up in a minute. And what we're going to be looking at is what happens when you connect resistors in series with each other. So we're just going to consider two resistors to start off with, and then we'll look at some more advanced material in the next video. What we want to think about as always when we do our electrical principles is where do we apply this in our real world. Obviously we need to know this information to pass exams but we also want to know how does it fit in to being an electrician. And in the real world uh, you might come across loads that are connected in series with each other, for example uh, with decorative lights uh, that you might have strung around your garden. They may well be uh, a series of lamps connected in series with each other. So that's some application. Let's have a look at setting up our multimeter. So here we've got our multimeter. Uh, on this multimeter today we're going to be using it to measure resistance. Now you remember from our SR units video that resistance is measured in ohms. So we need to turn this to the ohms setting. So on the multimeter if you look around the outside you've got various different settings that you can adjust it to. There's lots of different multimeters available. You'll have to get familiar with your own multimeter to know uh, where the settings are. But we're going to be working on this range right here, which is the ohm range. You can see the little Amiga symbol there. And because we're going to be working with fairly low resistance values, we're going to turn our setting to the lowest uh, resistance measuring setting, which is here at 200 ohms. You can also have 2000, uh, 20K, which is 20,000, uh, all the way up to 200 mega ohms, which is 200 million. But for our purposes today, we're just going to look at 200 ohms. Uh, once you've found the correct setting, turn the multimeter on using that switch there, and that is now trying to measure resistance. It can't measure anything at the moment because it doesn't have any leads set up. So we always, when we're using a multimeter, we always have one lead in the common terminal. So that one will always have a common lead in it there. And then you've got to look at the other terminals to figure out which other one you're going to use. So we've got a terminal marked 10A, that's 10 amps. We're measuring resistance, so we won't use that one. This one uh, is saying MA, which is milliamps. Again, we're not measuring uh, current, so we'll cover that up. And here we've got our voltage, resistance, and frequency terminal. So that's the terminal we're going to use because it's got the little ohm symbol above it. So we'll put one in there. So currently the multimeter is effectively measuring uh, a huge amount of resistance, far beyond the 200 ohm maximum that it can measure. But if I pop the two leads together, you can see there that that is measuring near enough zero ohms, 0.02 uh, or 3 of an ohm. So that's not going to affect our readings too much. So now we've got our multimeter set up. Let's have a look at the actual circuits that we're going to be building. So this video, as we've said, is about series circuits. So to investigate our series circuit, we're going to use the equipment that we've got set up here. We've got our Locktronics board, uh, which we're going to build our circuit with. And we've also got our multimeter that we just set up to read uh, resistance, which of course is measured in ohms. Let's keep repeating that until we remember it. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use these little plug-in components to build our circuit. So you can see here you've got the symbol for a resistor, which is marked on there and the little 18 ohms in there is telling us that this is an 18 ohm resistor. If we just fling that around, you can see what's going on on the back. We've got our uh, resistor soldered onto this uh, carrier, and you can see here there's a banded colour coding. Uh, we're not going to talk in this video about what that means, uh, but suffice to say, an experienced electrician will know that that is an 18 ohm resistor. So we're going to build our circuit. Uh, let's plug this into the board first of all. And we'll prove that this is an 18 ohm resistor, beyond a shadow of a doubt, by just measuring the resistance from one side to the other. So let's plug that in there and see what that looks like. So you can see on the screen there we're measuring 17.9 ohms. Now you may be surprised to learn that that's not exactly 18 ohms, but that's how resistors are manufactured. They're manufactured within a tolerance, uh, and actually that's quite nicely just settled on 18 ohms there. But don't be surprised if it's not exactly the value. It might be a little bit more or a little bit less. So what is a series circuit? Well, a series circuit is a circuit where the current flowing around the circuit has to flow through one load before it reaches another load. So here, current, if we were to connect this up to a supply, current would flow through uh, one resistor 
and then it would flow through the next resistor. And that's what we call a series circuit. So what do you think the total resistance of this small series circuit that we've built here would be? Well, you might be thinking various things, but let's plug in our multimeter and see what reading we get. So if we measure from one side to the other, we can see there that we're measuring 35.7, it looks like it's settling on, 35.7 ohms. Now, if we just round that up a little bit, we'll see that that's actually 36 ohms. And if you look at this logically, you can see that 36 is a result of adding 18 to 18. So 18 plus 18 gives us 36. So we could continue to add resistors in series with this circuit. And what do you think would happen as we add more and more resistors into the circuit? Well, let's have a look and see what happens. So we're going to add another 18 ohm resistor into the circuit. So there's our next 18 ohm resistor. We've now got three resistors connected in series with each other. Let's plug our multimeter in and see what reading we're getting. Now, hopefully your maths is strong enough that you can see what we're getting here is 54 ohms, which is a really nice result. And what we've got here is 18 plus 18 plus 18 gives us 54 ohms. So from this, we can see that there's a very simple relationship between the value of the resistors and the total resistance of the circuit. And we can write that out mathematically in the following way. RT, which is total resistance, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So those are just the values of the resistors. So we'd say RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3, which gives us RT equals 18 ohms plus 18 ohms plus 18 ohms, which would be RT equals 54 ohms. So that's what we've got going on there. Hopefully uh, that makes some sense to you. And we can see that a series circuit, there's a very simple relationship between the resistors in the circuit and the total resistance. Thank you very much for watching.